Welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. Today, we're checking out FTL Advanced Edition on the Steam Deck. Now, I've only played this on the PC. I have never played this on the Steam Deck. And I think it's going to be one of those games where it might be a little awkward to play it with, um, with the Steam Deck trying to emulate a mouse. But I guess we'll find out because I don't think there's native controls on here or uh, gamepad controls. So we'll do our best and uh, click play and see what we got. So yeah, let's dive on into FTL or Faster Than Light. Let's go. Okay, let's choose our language here. Yeah, so I think we're gonna have to uh, use this as our uh, mouse. Continue. Let's do a new game. And let's do easy mode. <laughs> yeah, I guess this will be fine for the time being. Okay, let's try to see if we can't get to the end. Let's go jump. So another roguelite type of game. Scan show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you. Stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Uh, should we attack them or should we ignore them? They have a lot of stuff here. And they have a huge amount of health, but so do we. But we could also get, you know, get some of their loot. Let's attack them just to show you what it's like. You asked for it. Oh snap. We gotta wait for these to load up. Oh boy. That's not good. They destroyed our, our cameras. Ooh, I missed it. That's a shame. Um. There we go. Let's hit the oxygen tank. Ooh, there we go. Uh, we don't want them to escape. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, they escaped. They gave us a little bit of profit. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we should probably have one of our guys fix this. So we'll sign him to this room, just for the time being. Okay, so we left click or left trigger to go there and he'll repair it. Might take a few minutes, moments. There we go. Cool, now you can go back and we can jump. Uh, where should we go? Let's try this one. See what we got. Hmm, we lose two of those. I think that's fuel for uh, four guns. Uh, that's, that's not bad, I'll do it. Okay, let's go here. Oh. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Uh. No. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna fight. Fight to the death. Ow. We surrender. Take one of our slaves. Okay, we'll take one of their slaves. They can go. Uh, where should we put them? Yeah, I guess leave them there. Okay, so you, uh, why don't you go here at the shield area? That might help us. Okay. And let's jump. This is a distress 
speaking. Okay, let's go over here. <clears throat> Uh, sure. Oh, cool. We'll take some scrap. That'd actually be good when we go to a, a vendor. Uh, yeah, let's attack them. Uh, what should we do? There we go. Station is a storage type of military grid. What? Ooh, okay. A small bomb. I like that. For you, you can probably head over here. And let's go to the next sector. Let's go to the civilian sector because that might actually lead us to more of a merchants that we can check out. Why is his health dying? Are we losing oxygen? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's have both of them in there. Sometimes if you have two people in a single room or four people, that can actually help get there quicker. Okay, let's go to jump. It looks like we gotta go to the distress signal, whether we like it or not. Uh, okay, oh well. We should really try to upgrade that, if we can. Oh, let's go jump. Uh, one merchant seems to be massive. Uh, no. <laughs> Let's go check this place out. Okay, I guess we're going to fight them. Dang. All at 75%. Yeah, that's what I see. Oh, it's FTL. Uh, we gotta make sure that stops. There we go. Nice, we destroyed them. And we got some scrap. That's always a good thing. But we're all dying, so we all need to get there. And while they're working on that, hopefully he can work on that in time. And no one dies. Uh, I want to go over here. You can go back over here. And you, you can go over here. Okay, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's uh, jump. Let's see what we've got over here. I'm just going to wait. Oh, there's a store. Let's go to the store and see if we can upgrade and buy stuff. So we can hire we can hire some crew or we can go and buy some weapons here. Uh, should we fix all? I don't know. Let's see what we got here. We can ask well we can get some drone controls, if that would be nice. Hmm. What 
tokens are made immediately available after an FTL jump. Now that would be nice. Um, let's fix all. And maybe we can get some crew members. That might be good. How much fuel? Oh, we need some fuel. Fuel is super important in this. And uh, maybe we can get something else here. Let's get that. And let's buy a crew member. Cool. So for you, let's put you back on shields. And uh, that's a hull laser. That's a... Let's put that into that. Let's take the Artemis and put it into a spawn. Uh, I'll just leave Artemis. That'd be cool. And uh, with that, I think we can uh, hopefully get out of here. Okay, so this is where you go and upgrade, which now we have nothing. <laughs> so we probably should have just kept the scraps, but oh well. We're going to see what happens. Let's exit this area and go into space. Shoot that and then Artemis. Let's shoot it over here. Should be pretty simple. Oh, dang. Okay, we got that, but we also have a lot of fires. So we're going to have to open up the doors. Uh, we got to put those fires out somehow. This isn't looking too good. Let's open up the doors temporarily. There we go. Now we can close it. <laughs> okay, and for you all, let's uh, put you back over here. Cool. We managed to somehow survive. Let's uh, jump then to the next sector. For better or for worse. So actually, this is running pretty decently on the Steam Deck that I was kind of surprised. I didn't know how it would feel, but you know, it's not too bad. Let's go and attack the ship. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Oh, come on. <laughs> This is going so slow, dude. <laughs> there we go. Alright, might have enough to scrap to uh, get stuff. Uh, let's add some weapon control. And let's upgrade our shield system. There we go. We'll just have to uh, use that. Okay, let's jump. So as you can see, this is how the game works and runs. This, you go to different parts of the map and then you hopefully survive. 
And then you had to make kind of critical decisions about whether or not to upgrade certain parts by uh, pirates or by mercenaries or a crew and buy certain upgrades for the ship, whether it's weapons, abilities, augmentations, all that kind of stuff. And ultimately, this runs really nicely on the Steam Deck. I was kind of surprised and I was worried a bit for, you know, the mouse feel, but it doesn't feel bad. And it's a 2D game, so honestly, if you want to put the FPS down to maybe 30 frames per second, which I know there's a couple elitists out there, which I've seen in the comments sections, that you want it to be locked at 60 FPS or nothing. Uh, but honestly, this type of game, you can do it at 30 frames per second to preserve the battery life, maybe change the the battery to, you know, thermal TDP limit and just change the watts so it limits it to maybe, I don't know, six or seven you could probably do something like that to preserve the battery life this isn't a battery intensive game now for the witcher i probably wouldn't be doing that for that but you know it's to each their own you might be interested in trying that out but anyway this game runs great check it out if you don't have it um if you like sci-fi uh real-time strategy type, well not it's real time but it's kind of like strategy games uh games out of roguelites that makes you really think about what to do from for the next uh, it feels like a board game check this game out ftl faster than light and uh you'll thank me later if you haven't tried this out so yep yeah, uh, that's it thank you for watching be sure to hit the like button notification bell subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh comment below your favorite part of the video and be sure to have a great and fantastic day and watch out for pirates out there uh <laughs> they'll be after your booty so <laughs> stay stay safe there all right take care